You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Jay Large. And I said, I swore it was a chocolate button, but it wasn't. Sweet corn gave it away. No, it's the worst, absolute worst. Today we are joined by Jay, who's standing in for Mike while Mike deals with personal issues. What have you got for us today, Jay? So I've got a story for us today about a psychopathic AI. 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 Ooh, he had me at psychopathic. Mm. We love a psychopath. psychopath. We love a good red flag, mm. don't we, Lay? On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the TV for our website, and on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names roll along across the bottom of the screen, we are going to get ready for this week's showbiz with Lee. <laughs> How, how do we feel about Demi Lovato? Are we a fan? Are we a stan of the, the Lovato? So I'm not really a stan as such. I do admire them. I've always liked their music. Obviously, them coming out was so brave, like the way that they did it online on social media. I'm a bit of a fan. I can't lie to you, Lou. I can never forget Poot Lovato. That, that, do you know, you're, you mean you're, you're, you're a young, young person. I think I said young, young child then, but that would have been weird. That would have been uh, It would have been. They've got themselves into a little bit of flack on, online by posting um, the, their collection of Egyptian artefacts. So Demi has apparently been collecting original Egyptian artefacts. Like Tutankhamun's tomb yeah. and things like so, that. Yeah, so stuff, so like, stuff from like the tombs and things. Right. That's Demi looking at their collection of Roman artefacts. So the one on the right's Demi? Yeah, that's thought, Demi. Okay, so I thought the one on the right was the artefact. Never mind. No, 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 no. Okay. No, so yeah, they've, they've bought... Loads and, and they've got certificates of authenticity, okay. allegedly. But I think it's, it's something called museumsurplus.com, which sounds highly, um, highly authentic. Highly ethical, definitely. Yeah, to just go and go. So, so what they're saying is, is that she's got, they've got an Egyptian eye of Horus. I beg Don't we pardon? all have a, an eye of Horus? Um, supposedly dating between 400 and 713 BC and a cuneiform tablet from the Babylonian Assyrian period. Those were a lot of words in a very short space well, of time. Well, apparently, art experts have, have looked at them and gone, no. It's from fake. Wish. They're from Wish Babes. You've, 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 you've paid way over price for something that was made in a factory in Taiwan. So, Demi Lovato has been scammed with fake Egyptian artefacts. They don't is, this, think, is this the bottom line? They don't they? think they've been scammed. They have been scammed. They genuinely believe that what they've got is real. Okay. But art experts are going... No, it's not. No, so the, the, the one of the artists said though they've been around thousands and thousands of years. They're not going to go on eBay to Demi Lovato uh, for fifty grand. Yeah, right. Uh, but I kind of think, do you know what? If it makes you feel happy, do it. Yeah, have that fake Egyptian mummy in your house. If it makes them happy, who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? What's the strangest thing you've ever bought on Wish? And this is, I am asking, I'm asking you for many reasons, mostly because the set design, I know you do help a um, lot with set we, design. We covered, I, we did cover it. I bought, I bought some wiglets from, from Wish. A Ben's wiglet? wiglets, yeah. What is a wiglet? It's, it's not a full wig. Oh, <laughs> like a toupee? Yeah. One was in blush pink. <laughs> one was in lavender. Okay. And we tried them on. They did Beautiful. not look like what they said. Right, mm. I can imagine. Have you, what, is, what is your best wish purchase? I bought a spaghetti spoon shaped like the Loch Ness Monster and he lives in my kitchen in Pride of Place. He is beautiful. So moving on from, from Poot Lovato, Jojo Siwa. Now you'll know who Jojo Siwa is. I know who Jojo Siwa is. Yeah, but Siwa try it again. Doesn't... Jojo Siwa. Yeah. I think she's fantastic. She's, she's, she, she came out last year. Yeah. Um, has done loads of stuff. I don't really know very much about her. I just know she was massive bows on her head. So she was on one of those well. reality TV shows, like Dance Moms or something, when oh, she was a kid. She was, and she? they've just basically milked the Jojo Siwa. Try again. Oh, they've, they've, they've milked, milked Jojo, Jojo Siwa. Siwa. <laughs> they've not milked Jojo Siwa herself. That is a niche, niche. <laughs> just yanking thing. on the udders and the bows and just milking her dry. <laughs> They saw the cash cow coming and they are milking this woman. That is that is some hot lesbian porn right there. Milking Jojo Siwa. <laughs> um, I can see it. Anyway, let's, let's don't move. Don't see it. We don't want to see this. She is like a really amazing role model for young 
LGBTQIA people because she's just not apologising for the fact that who she is. Exactly. We've got a picture of her, her, her. She's moved on slightly with her look, so she's not as kind of rainbow bright. Um, oh, bless you know, her. What a beautiful young woman. She's gorgeous. What a beautiful young woman. So... She was performing in concert. I didn't know she sang. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. So she, she does everything. She sings, she dances, she milks, everything. <laughs> Whole range of things. Absolutely. So she, she was on her tour in Columbia, South Carolina, and one of her fans tweeted her before the concert and said, really, really like you, but please will you not say that you're gay? Will you stop going on about it? Okay. Um, and tweeted that. She saw this tweet, stopped the concert, and went, do you know what? I've had this tweet saying, really like you, but please don't say that you're gay. Mm. And she was going, no, because that's not who I am. I'm not going to cover up who I am just to make you feel happy. Love so she actually I stopped the whole thing and gave this really amazing speech by kind of like saying, you know, I am, you know, so I'm going to take it. I'm not going to take their advice. I'm not going to say it. Instead, I'm going to do something else. So what she did was she stopped the concert and she brought out a huge uh, pride flag, got a picture of her wearing the, the flag, and, and basically she said, I'm, she said, I'm being gay. It's a part of who I am. And one thing that I want to teach everybody is that being who you are is the most important thing ever. Um, and there's videos on YouTube of her doing it. She's, she's kind of, being gay isn't weird. This rainbow flag, oh, this rainbow... a little flag with her face with on, her face it, on it. This rainbow pride flag represents love. And this rainbow pride flag represents equality. And this represents being yourself. Um, so basically, she was like saying to the fan, up Sod your up. ass. Yeah. Um, I'll be who I want to be. If you don't want to come to my concert, don't come to my concert. Exactly. Um, I'll be available. It's not like she needs the money anyway. She's I a billionaire. Imagine, she's yeah. like 19. She's an absolute multi-millionaire. What if she does like fan milking sessions afterwards? I think she does it on a pay-per-view site. Oh. Dark, but that's not really my side of the internet. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to ask the viewers. It's amazing how we can turn something so meaningful into it's just trash. It's just rubbish. Yeah. It's what we do yeah. best. Yeah. So last, <laughs> last bit of showbiz news is about Billy Porter. Now, I have mm, issues with Billy Porter. I don't know enough about Billy Porter. Billy Porter, actor who was in Pose. Oh, him. Have you seen Pose? Yes, I've seen Pose. Um, massively famous, pioneer of LGBTQIA rights. Gets himself into a little bit of bother when Is he, he starts slagging other people. Is he the one that had an argument up. on Twitter? Does he just argue on Twitter with he, I feel like he is. He had an issue with Harry Styles being in a dress on the cover was of Vogue. Was it on Vogue. the Vogue? Yeah, yeah. saying... Okay. I wear a dress, therefore I should be on the cover of that. <laughs> Basically what it boiled down to. Um, he has since apologised and gone, it wasn't you, Harry. It was it just was the, it was the situation. So he is going to be starring in the second series of an Apple TV documentary series called Dear. And then it's their name. So like Dear... Oh, I thought Jojo you meant Dear Siwa. is in Dear. No, and it's not right, just as a Dear. Okay. That's... Talking about his life as a Dear. So the, so the first series was, had people like Oprah Winfrey on, Spike Lee... And it says, this is the blurb, they're illuminating stories in the lives of those they have impacted. So basically what happens is, is they get, they, they have fans write intimate letters. Now that sounds a bit weird. I don't That's think weird. they mean like rubbing, the rubbing themselves off. Yeah. Um, they're kind of like, I mean, what that, that fan talks about what that person meant to them okay. in, in, a, nice in a wider okay. capacity. So talking about how they, how they influenced their life, um, how they impacted on others um and um yeah again sounds slightly a little bit like you know oh i'm good mm. let's get these people to write in um and say how amazing i am it, i've not watched it so i don't know how he comes across but he's going to be talking about how you know in the 80s um he he is hiv positive himself okay. um dealt with that in the 80s and the discrimination against that right. also being a person of color and how that was also a massive impact on his career oh. um i mean he reading what he's saying even when he was a child so his parents when he was a very little child sent him to a psychologist when he was in nursery because they thought he was going to be gay so, so they sent him to a psychologist. So even when he was like in nursery school to fix him so he said there was concern that i was too much of a sissy um, and my parents wanted to go and fit, get Inversion me fixed. Conversion therapy. Yeah, as a, as a four-year-old, um, which is absolutely unbelievable Disgusting. because he's, I think he's like sort of 51, 52, so he's not, you know, that old. More your age then, Lee, yeah. <clears throat> Can we cut, cut Jay out of this whole thing? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so us old people um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> can can watch it and go, oh, yeah. And if you're young, then you might learn something, you yes. fetus. Um, <laughs> 
So yeah, so so other people that are going to be on the show are Viola Davis. D- Viola Davis, who is an amazing comedian. Okay. Um, Jane Fonda, amazing. She's about 400 years old now. Um, actress, she's going to be on it. Um, and loads of people that I've never heard of. Yeah. Because they're American. Abdul Jabbar, do you know who that is? No. Laird Hamilton. No. Neither do I. And I'm showbiz correspondent. But that's all. It's all irrelevant. Like, um, none of it really matters. Does it, none it, of really? it really matters. And that, that is the end of this week's showbiz news. <laughs> fantastic. That was really good, that, Lee. Thank you for going through such fantastic information. Um, you're totally welcome. But stick with us, because next is Jay in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Jay. Now let's see what Jay can scrape up in the buzz. Well, Lee, I have scraped some lovely, lovely juicy bits from the internet just for you. I've milked the internet dry. Um, Are you familiar with TikTok? Do you know what TikTok is? Is it it a refreshing mint that comes in a little... Plastic thing. No, that's a t- what is that? That's a tic tac. That's a tic tac. Oh, I like the orange ones. Um, no, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware of TikTok. I don't go on TikTok. It's a dangerous app. It's addictive. You start swiping. Before you know it, you've lost three days. Now, this guy has been on TikTok and it seems like he's lost five years. Oh. He's believing that he's a time traveler from 2027 and he's come back in time to put things on TikTok to show us the future. So okay. apparently a celebrity who's faked their own death is going to be coming back to us within the next couple of years. So it's a celebrity. Um, he's not specific. He's a celebrity. Oh, he's telling us about a celebrity. Sorry, he's telling us about a celebrity. Oh, so he's not. So he's telling us about a celebrity. Oh, right, this guy, okay. his name is Javier or Unicoso Breviente. My Spanish is appalling. Ooh, he's that's... broadcasting to 6.6 million followers, which is a lot of people on TikTok, let me tell they you. They all believe he's from the future. And they all believe this guy's from the future, from 2027. His first post was, I've just woken up in a hospital bed. It's the 13th of February, 2027, and I don't know where I am. <sighs> so, what would your first thing do when you wake up in a hospital bed? What would be the first thing you'd want to do? If you've woken up in the future, I don't know where I am, what am I doing? I need a piss, do? to be fair. It's a long time. It's a long time. Um, <laughs> check my phone. I don't know. I don't. It would. Would. would, would uh, I don't think he is from the future. I don't think this guy's from the future no, either. To I be think, honest, I think he's just trying I, to find a niche. He's trying to jump on the clout bandwagon, and I don't think it's working for him. But saying that, six point six million followers. Mm, how did he? How did he get from the future to here? Did his phone still have charge? I mean, I've got an iPhone. My battery lasts half an hour. Do you know what I mean? How has he still got charge on his phone? Did he go? Did he fall through a wormhole? And and we don't know. He's not specific about how oh, he got to the future. Oh, he doesn't know. He's not aware. But he's saying that he's visited Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia, Malaga, and Sevilla. Nice. But he never sees anybody around. So he's from the future. And there's no humans. He's the only just human him. on earth now. Just him. And but the predictions Jackson. that he's making, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson could be a celebrity. Oh. Very exciting. It's yeah, it is exciting. You never know who may come back from the dead. <gasps> Whitney Houston, potentially. Mariah Carey. No, she's still with us. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, I thought her career died. Never mind. Um, so, oops. <laughs> Sorry, Mariah. Don't be killing off celebrities. That's my job. I. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but but the, he's not. He's no official people have like sat him down and done a proper interview with him. No, and said, nobody yet is. Um, yeah, nobody's really investigated this properly. But people are questioning him on TikTok, interviewing him through through the medium of TikTok, saying, why don't you predict the future for us? Why don't you tell us who wins the 2022 World oh. Cup? Because then if he predicts that correctly, then obviously mm. he is from the future, definitely, mm. not just... Or just football. give us a little bit of... Give us a month yeah. in, in advance. G- give us a month a month of you yeah. update, updates, and then you'll be able to kind and of... And if it happens, then we'll believe you. If not, then you just... If not, you're just a, a dickhead on the internet, basically. Mm. Um, he is having a hard time convincing people, though, so who knows? Has he convinced you that he's from the future? No. Me either. No, I don't believe it. Nor me. Just, you know, if, if that is true, give us cold, hard facts. Cold, hard facts and evidence. That's yeah. what we need. That's what we need. Oh, well, I, I, shan't, I, shan't be, I shan't be signing up just to look at his I wouldn't recommend it. It is a bit of a waste of time, to be honest with you. Mm. Should we move on, Lee? Go, yeah, yeah. Cool. To the future. We're moving on to the past now. So um, this has happened previously, unfortunately. <coughs> he just clicked that at it. Uh, <laughs> Osteoarthritis. Sexy. Uh, <laughs> good luck for me. So this is, poor gentleman has been online shopping. He's buying an outfit for a wedding. And he's found an unpleasant surprise in his box. Is it a human turd? 
No. It is not. That would be an unfortunate <laughs> thing. No. It's even more unfortunate. It is human waste. Oh, a okay. Student has found used boxer shorts and dirty tissues, used tissues in his ASOS package. Oh, so he's bought something. <laughs> And somebody has sent it. So somebody sent back what they bought yep. with their skinny knickers and their tissues in. <laughs> and then the people at ASOS have not even bothered to They've kind not of even check it, it. They just sent it to the next person. Absolutely. So the <sighs> previous customer has had a Tommy Tank, licked the envelope, sealed it all back up, posted it to ASOS. ASOS has scanned it and this poor lad's got it through the post. So somebody will have gone, oh, right, somebody sent these back, but then somebody else has ordered a size whatever. So we're just going to throw those. Just send it to, yeah. But you would, you would, that would be, I would imagine, would be a common protocol to check what's been sent back you'd have thought so but it's asos they're trying to cut corners where they can you know they want to get a bargain if you want cheap clothes you get what you pay for but this gentleman has found obviously used pants um and crunchy tissues he didn't specify what he was horrified to find the residue specifically i don't think he examined it too closely oh he just went oh look tissues um, pants. but yeah tissues and pants now the gentleman his name is ty kirk from gollingham in not gollingham collingham 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 I don't even know. He's, he's don't, get it. Don't, anyway. don't go into a, a loop. Colin, don't Tam, go, Colin, <laughs> Colin, Colin and his ham. Colin, ham, ham, ham. Colin and his skiddy briefs. Um, okay, so so it, so it, as with a lot of these things, he managed to. He was so outraged that he took a photograph. Took, took several photographs, zoomed in, but he did put on full PPE before he examined it any closer. So rubber gloves, face masks. Okay. Oh yes, he's not happy. Um, so he tweeted the pictures to ASOS. ASOS apologised unreservedly. They were most apologetic to Ty, and they've offered him a hundred pound gift card. Um, so Ty's exact words were, "I'm so angry. How could they let this happen?" I he immediately started anxiously laughing for I was disgusted that they sent it to me like this. So he's basically pissed himself laughing, took a load of pictures, put them on his Facebook, gone, guys, this is really funny. Um, it's not uh, like they've taken three years off his life or something. It's no. just He's just got a pair of manky pants. A pair of manky pants. And people pay a lot of money for them. They you could do. Really sell them. He could have done, Have yeah. you seen those websites? I haven't seen them, but I'm aware of oh, them. But he, he could make himself a pretty penny off those, let me tell mm. you. Anyway, so poor Ty and his crunchy tissues. Um... Yeah, I mean, have you ever had anything weird through the post? Cause have I've... you had any crunchy tissues through the post? No, I haven't, not surprisingly. Not, not, a, <laughs> not a single one. Um, no, I've never had anything strange in the post that I've not ordered yeah. specifically. Yeah, wish. Uh, no. Okay. Shall we move on from skinny knickers and go on to something a bit more frightening? Is there, <laughs> is there anything more frightening than skinny knickers? Um, I just like the fact that I can say skinny knickers. Before we go on to our story of the week, to interact with us on social media, it's at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube, we are under Chewing The Cud. So, Lee, are you scared of artificial intelligence robots that come alive? <laughs> um, not especially. I've never had um, interaction with artificial intelligence <laughs> and robot. But how would I know if they were really good well, exactly. in the past? I mean, human. You, you get some that are used for good, so I suppose things that are used in... <laughs> Can't do this. Hey, artificial that are used for good, yes. Like on um, Disney rides. Yeah, absolutely. So they've got the robots that talk, saying to the kids. Mm -hmm. But they do have AI that is used for evil. Oh. Now, we can meet our friend, or not friend, Norman, which is a very... That doesn't sound particularly evil. Doesn't until you know that he's named after Alfred Hitchcock's Norman Bates. So we've got oh, Norman on our screen here. Okay. He's a frightening looking fella, isn't he? Norman is an artificial robot intelligence app that sees negativity in normal images. So, you know, if you see a picture, uh, so if you see a picture of a field, Norman mm. will look at that picture of a field and go, it looks like a killing machine. I can do that. Well, you're not artificial intelligence, Lee. <laughs> you're not even intelligence <laughs> at this minute. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, wh why does he do it? So, there's been an algorithm that's been devised by a university in Massachusetts as, <laughs> as part of an experiment to see what training AI to scan the dark web and the dark corners of the internet Ooh, would do. Okay. So, they've developed some tests and we're going to try the tests that we've developed for Norman today, okay. live on air. So, we're going to show you this first picture. Now, I want you to tell me what you see on this image. <sighs> Think very carefully about it. Maybe tilt your head sideways. Maybe tilt your head around a little bit. See what you say. What you say. Say what you say. Two clowns. Um, that's their bodies. Okay. That's their foot. Okay. That's the hands. Right. And that's the little clown hat and their head. Okay. So with this, I'm seeing Father Christmas's high five in. Oh right. Okay. I could see. Yeah. So we're on kind of a similar wave. Like the clowns, Morris mm. dancing. Father Christmas's high five in. Now Norman did not see that. 
The regular AI, so the normal AI app, saw a close-up of a vase with some flowers, which I cannot see at all in that. I but Norman see... saw a man being shot dead. Okay. Now, the only sit type reason I can see that is the blood, maybe. But I wouldn't even see it as blood. It just looks like Father Christmas hat. I don't see. I don't see. I, I don't, don't see, see a close-up of. I don't see the vase thing. So, what would you think of this one? It's like an insect. It's like an ant face. I think it's, you know, those fur rugs that you get when you go on holiday and it's got like a bear's head on it and it's like, oh, like mouth open, like big teeth. And, yeah. Yeah, you can see so it's this front end, it's back yeah. end down there. Um, now, the regular AI saw a black and white photograph of a small bird, which... Get lost! The, the, that, the real AI is a bit of a nutty. The real AI is crap. But Norman, on the other hand, Norman has got some major problems going on um, because this is what Norman saw. A man, man getting gets pulled, pulled into, into a dough machine. machine. Okay. I yeah. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Norman. Whatever turns you on, Norman. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it even right there. I can't even see the doe. I can't see the is man. It, and what is the purpose of it? Is it to kind of catch weirdos in the future? So they've devised this to try and find out, you know, the mind of a psychopath to help us get inside. Oh. It's hope that in the future we can catch people before they do evil things. And we've got another one. Now this is my favourite one. This one. So tell me what you see on this image. I, I, I want to say like a little cat. Yeah. A little pussy cat. Yeah. Um, c climbing a climbing a lollipop. Yeah. I mean, I'm seeing something quite similar. I've got two tigers sort of thing on each side. Okay, great big yes. Animals. But I'm seeing it as like a mirror reflection. Okay. So the tiger's walking on water like Jesus uh, um, um, across the Dead Sea. Um, but the regular AI, we've got an answer for the regular AI. Okay. So the regular AI, say AI again, Jay, I swear to God, it saw a person holding an umbrella in the air. That's what Norman saw. A man being shot dead in front of a screaming. <laughs> I wife. just think I think Norman's just saying these things for the sake of saying comedic them. effect. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't understand regular AI at all. I don't. Understand, I don't understand that. I don't understand AI to be honest oh, with you. Well, but yes. So that was our story of the week. There, absolutely we? bloody amazing. Will you be downloading Norman's AI app? No. Neither will I. No. I don't think anyone will. No, I'm twisted enough as it is. Um, thank you very much for that, Jay. Stick around as coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for us to play our game of the week. We're playing Uza Kazoo this week. So, Jay, if you'd like to haul your cookies off into the game show studio and we will start. Woo! Game of the week. The rules are quite simple. Jay's going to say things through a kazoo and I've got to try and guess what they are. Are you ready with the first one? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I've got my banana pipe to honk. Is on. it like popular sayings? No, they're not no. popular sayings. They are just strings of words that we put together to make into sentences, Lee. Okay. Shall we begin? Yes, please. Okay. Do you want to start with... We'll start with an easy one. Okay. Bells in the birthday sing. That sounded ridiculous. That sounded absolutely ridiculous. Do it again then. Girls in the vocal sing. I... Girls in the... Smelly pool. No, it wasn't girls in the smelly pool. It... Girls... Bell. Bell. In the belfry, sing. I'm just gonna just talk at the kazoo. Basically, that's just what you bells in the belfry sing. Yes, yes, we've got one. Fantastic. <laughs> that just I, I've never played a kazoo professionally. I, oh, have no. you ever played a kazoo professionally, Lee? I uh, yeah, yeah, most okay. evenings. Okay, mm. let's play this one. We'll go for a number two one this time. You, you would know all about number two, so wouldn't you? Like... I do, I do indeed. <laughs> Finger to fit paper holes. Finger fuck my paper hole. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to know about your weekend plans. <laughs> it's finger was the first word though. Finger puppet paper holes. Finger puppets paper holes. If three words were correct, the last one was not correct. Finger puppets paper poles. Holes. Poles. 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 No, pals. Pals? Pals, P-A-L-S. 
as oh. in friends. Oh, okay. Right, I didn't, so we've got I didn't understand your accent. It's not my accent, it's your ears, love. So <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> the bellboy is plump. <laughs> the bellboy is... The bellboy has blinked. I hate to do that. Plump. <laughs> <laughs> the what? I said, do we go? <laughs> the first three words you got again. You, the bellboy. The bellboy is four words. Sorry. Bellboy is. <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> Drunk. No. Plump. Plunk. Plump, as in fat. The bellboy oh. is fat, basically. The bellboy is plump. But nobody uses the word plump these days, so I don't know why you'd use that. Okay. <clears throat> Next one, hopefully, we'll be have a bit more luck with this. <laughs> Fluffy pink. Yes, yes. Something sausages. Not sausages. <laughs> Something puppies. Yes. Fluffy what is a breed pink. of dog that starts with P? Pug. Pug. Yes, fluffy pink. No, puffy pink pug puppies. You got it. Mm. Fantastic. I did. I did get it. A waste of my life. That I'll never get back. What about? Eagles of Fino. Eagles of Fino Pimmels. Eagles? No. Oh. Eagles. Eagles. All I'm hearing is eagles. Eagles. <laughs> it doesn't. I know it doesn't count if I take it out of my mouth, but. Evils. Ooh, oh, for f sake, Lee. Oodles. Oodles. <sighs> of noodle. Oodles. Noodles. Oodles of noodles. No. No, not noodles. A straight game, isn't it, Jace? It's really it's, annoying. It's, yeah. very, it's very challenging. It's posing it a lot of serious challenges to our lives. Yeah. Okay. Oodles of Poodle Puddles. Oodles of Poodle Puddles. Yes, yes, you've got it finally. Jesus, that was getting painful. Crazy roller coaster ride. Crazy? Crazy roller coaster ride. Exactly. Bang on. Fantastic. Thank you. Very I don't know if you shout the actual thing into it. I was shouting into the kazoo. I had it in my mouth. No, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Butter, my bed, with bacon. Butter doesn't go with bacon. Oh, no, you were nearly there, actually. So you've got the butter and the bacon. The two ends at the sandwich are great. It's just the middle bit. Butter, my bed, with bacon. The butter goes on the bread with bacon. Kind of. Butter my bread with bacon. I'm going to give you that one. Butter that was... my bread with bacon? It makes no sense. Okay, I've got another one for you. Linda washing Deezer. Linda... Lin... Go on. Linda licks out Deezer. <laughs> Lingo washing Deezer. Lingo? No, no, not Lindo or Linda. Lingo. Bingo. Lindo. It doesn't matter how you scream at me, I still don't understand. <laughs> uh, Lindo washing beaver. Summer washing beaver. Yes. <laughs> what do you wash your beaver with? <laughs> Lindo. It sounds like window washing yes, beaver. Yes, window washing beaver. Oh, oh, okay. But is the beaver washing the windows or All do right, you wash your the... beaver with the windows? Like It's really ambiguous with this one, isn't it? Let's have a look. Mush potato, mush man. Mashed potato. Yeah. Must be mashed. No, mashed potato, mush man. Mashed potato, mushy moo. Mush man. <laughs> mush man. <laughs> muscle man. <laughs> <laughs> mashed potato muscle man. No, it's what? somebody that would mash the mashed potato. What do they do? They mash her. Mash her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the masher man. 
Matt? <laughs> the mashed potato masher man, they're the man who mashes the mashed potatoes. <laughs> it is. Thank this man, Jason Bottles. Frank Bottle, Daisy Bottles. Frank Sidebottom breaks bottles. <laughs> he said bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Bottle, Daisy Bottles. Frank's bottom, baby no, bottle. Fra leave Frank out of this. It's nothing to do with Frank. Well, stop saying it then. I said Frank Bottle. Not Frank Sidebottom. God rest his soul. Frank Bottle. Baby bottles. Pint bottle baby bottles. Yeah, kind of, yes. Pint bottle baby bottles. 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 I think I'm having a psychotic <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> this, this is not good. I think I'm having a breakdown. It's not good for my <laughs> mental health. It's milk bottles, baby bottles. Pint bottle. You got the pint bottle bit already, Lee. You've forgotten it. You've got dementia. Bottles. No, I've got the, I'm getting the words wrong. Bottles. Pint bottles. God. I don't know. No. Okay, pass. We're moving on to another one. What was it? Pint bottle baby boppers. I was nearly there. You weren't nearly there at all. Well, you were a bit. Okay. Meerkat manner. I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> just repeat back what I've just said, Lee. <laughs> Meerkat. <laughs> right. Meerkat manner marathon. Meerkat Manor Marathon. Yes, we got one first time. <laughs> a fisherman named Fisher. A fisherman named Fisher. Yes. Pick, pick up a fishery fishery. All I got was fruit. Pick up a fishery fishery. I don't know. Pick up a fill in the blank. Fruit. No. Fruit. <laughs> I don't know, Jay. <laughs> the small window that opened for me to guess three in a row was now closed. I jumped out of it. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's pick up a peppery pickle. Oh, yes. And on that spicy bombshell, I think that's gone on long enough. That was, that was a moment in my life I'll never get back. Stay with us if you've not already left, because after the break, oh God, we've got a special segment, Everyone Loves Fanny, apparently. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time for us to go back in time to meet a brand new friend. Brand new, old, new, you know, it, it depends how you look at it. We're going back to the 90s with our special time machine. We're going to say hello to Fanny, because everybody loves a Fanny. Everybody loves Fanny. Hi, it's Fanny. Fanny if you're a friend or if you're blowing out a birthday cake. How are you, gentlemen? Yeah, Fanny, we're, we're, we're great. How, how are you in your... Um... It's a lovely house you have there. This this little place is just a little somewhere new, somewhere new for me. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, how? Uh, uh, what kind of curtains are those in the background? Oh, you mean my impressive pelmet? Yes. Oh yes, I do love my pelmet. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. lovely. Isn't it? Yes, with tassels. Yeah. How how is it back in the nineties there? Um, it's great. You know, it's very different to what I've heard about you. We've got a conservative government. Everything's a little bit wonky. Um, there's war happening and petrol prices are through the roof. So I hope things are very different where you are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what? What? Just out of interest, Fanny. What? 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 What kind of business are we in? What do we? Are we? Are we? Um... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Did you just refer to me as a whore? <laughs> no. I just. You know. Well, are we? Do we have a job? Are we a stay-at-home Fanny? Wait, we're a stay-at-home <laughs> Fanny. Yes. We stay at home all day long. Oh. Just being Fanny. Just being Fanny. Just being Fanny. Just Fanny and around. Yes. Mm. No, that's rude. Oh, Rude yeah. young man. I've got people who've written letters into me um, with some problems that they've asked me to solve. H have you got the first letter there, Jay? Hey. Dear Fanny, my dog keeps trying to have sex with my stepmum's leg. What should I do? Yours from Billy. Oh, see, what should is, Billy do, Fanny? This is a common problem. I, I had the same problem with my ex-husband, so I found a quick castration sorted out the problem. Um, of course, a little bit of a snip, but, uh, but there's a reason why he's an ex-husband. Yeah. 
That, that I, we don't tend to recommend castration as um. As, as That's a first port of call. Mm-hmm. But it's always an option. It's just always, always an off. option. Give it a snip. Okay. Oh. Okay, Lee. Have you got? Have you got a? a have I got a question? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? Let me have a have a look at the screen. Dear Fanny. I have recently lost my job and no one is taking me seriously when I'm applying for new roles. What should I do? Yours, Cressida Dick. Cressida Dick. Caressing a dick. Caressing a dick. Oh. Mm. Um, and it's <laughs> gays distracted very easily. Um, fa- <laughs> Fanny, what, what do you advise? So, so, see, I've had a very similar situation in my close circle of friends. Yeah, I, was, I was helping one of my friends write a screenplay. I was using oh. my, my word processor. And our friend Barbara was looking at a new, new title for her, her name because no one wanted to listen to Barbara sing. So she was looking over my shoulder and said, you, what, what's that you use in there, Fanny? I said, it's a word processor. She's like, no, 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 the name of that font. I'm like, oh. And so that's how Ariana Grande got her name. Now, Caressa, maybe it's your name that's holding you back. So may I suggest something different, maybe something a little bit less rude, like an Irish name, like Fila Mycock. That might work better for you. Mm. Mm. I mean, I am close personal friends with Ben Dover and Phil McCracken, um, so I kind of see where that's coming from. Ben Dover. Yeah, Ben Dover. Phil McCracken. Benjamin Dover. Ben. It's a good name, I know Ben. Just ben for short. Ben Dover. They bend over again. <laughs> if I have to explain it, <laughs> this would just make me laugh. Bend over and film a cracking. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. Anyway. Do we do, 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 do we have any more problems in the in the mailbag? So another problem for you, Fanny. This time from Mel. So dear Fanny, both my son and daughter have joined a satanic cult. I want to support them, but I am worried. What should I do? Well, Mel, you're right to be worried because goat's blood in a shag pile is nothing to laugh at, okay? So what I suggest is to support them, teach them to trim their lower lower areas, shall we say, because no one wants the smell of burning pubic hair while you're jumping over a fire. There's nothing worse. You can't get that smell out of the curtains either, can you, Fanny? You, you can't. You can't get that smell out of anything. Trust me, I've tried. Mm. Have we got another one? Yeah, let's let's um, let's root through our sack. sack. Um, yo, right, okay, I have one for you, <laughs> dear Fanny. We recently lost my grandma, and it was just before her hundredth birthday. What advice can you give me? Your Simon. P.S. Could you send me a signed autograph? I'm not sure I like the tone of the laughter when I was being asked for an autograph there, Lee. <laughs> Don't know how it would work though, with you being in the past and all. Well, I just write it down and leave it somewhere. Or a message in a bottle for the future. There we go, you see, the, the, oh. Jay's got a good, good young man there. So Simon, my first advice is, have you checked Ikea? Because if you've lost her, she's probably not followed the arrows in Ikea. We've all been there, we've all got lost. And if you can lose a hundred year old grandmother, I don't think I want to trust you with one of my autographs. Not taking care of things, that. No. Slapdash behavior from Simon. Do they have Ikea in the 1990s? We do have Ikea, yes. Oh, okay. It's very niche, yes. Small. <laughs> no, they're still large. Okay. Did you never go to Ikea in the 90s, Lee? Um, I, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you were a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shady b- <laughs> <laughs> Dear Fanny, how can you sort out the fetus that sits next to you <laughs> from being a cheeky b- <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Me. Well, Lee, my first recommendation is to stop being an old fart. Shall we get any more questions for me? I think, I think there is one, one more. Dear Fanny, my new boyfriend insists on painting during sex. How do I get him to stop? Yours from Rob. Well, Rob, I'm, if you're painting during sex, are they using watercolours or oil-based? Because that's a big issue to start with, because watercolours you can't wash out, and, and oil-based you... you it's just going to get what, what, sorry? Paintings what? Apparently he needs to eat more fibre and douche properly. I don't like it. 
Don't like, I don't like this new segment. Oh, okay. Um, I think we might have time just to do a very, very quick one. We've got funny. a couple more, Lee. Quick funny. Um, um, I really like this girl at work, but I'm not sure how to broach the subject. She always seems interested when I talk to her, but I've heard she has a boyfriend. Should I send her a picture of my penis? Love, Bob. <laughs> so, Bob, what I'd suggest is first of all, send it to me. Let me vet it first. I'll take a good long look at it and see if it's worth sending to anybody else. It won't be worth sending to everybody else. So unless it looks like a curly whirly, we've all seen one before. Top advice there. Brilliant advice, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that, Fanny. Great. That, was, that um, was good. Will we be seeing you again, Fanny, or Not was this finished. just a one off? Oh, no. Oh. So Susan's got a problem for you, Fanny. She hopes she can help her. Dear Fanny, my wife and I really get a kick out of urinating in the tea that we serve our guests. Is drinking urine okay, or are we making people sick? Love, Susan. Well, Susan, the first thing I'm going to do is remind myself to always have a coffee when I come round to your house. Um, well, it won't do any harm. We do recommend that you don't serve people your urine unless they've consented to it. Consent is key. Consent is very important to pee. Consensual piss. Absolutely. This must always be consensual. Hmm. Well, okay, Fanny. Get your, get your flaps around this one. Um, <laughs> I am a, <laughs> I am a 63 year old married man. It genuinely is me. Um, are there any medicines to sexually excite a woman? I have a 50 year old neighbor who could benefit from it and she has lost her desire to have sex. Yours, Tim. A hypnol available in the 90s. <laughs> it is, it's called ecstasy. Um, <laughs> so my, my first question is, if you're married to somebody else, why do you know that your neighbour's sex driver's dropped off? That's the question. It is, isn't it? Yes, but I, I spoke to my good friends, um, Catherine and Michael, um, to ask them how they got through their, their age gap. Uh, and the answer was a lot of vodka. So get drunk, get very, very drunk and stay at home, you dirty old man. Okay, well, I think... So, Fanny, somebody called Matt has got a problem for you. Okay. So, dear Fanny, people keep booing at me in the street. How can I make them cheer instead? Yours, Matt H. Okay, Matt. Well, I often find that people are booing at you for a reason. So what you need to do is make yourself more popular. So maybe institute sort of clapping every, every week, once a week. Or, you know, celebrate people for doing a job well done instead of giving them a pay rise. Is there an optimum time to be clapping, Fanny? A Thursday <laughs> around about 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, I love a Fanny clap. I like clapping Fanny as mm. well. Would you like to see a, a clapping Fanny? Clap for us, Fanny. Clap your Fanny. Oh. Lovely clapping. Wow. Tighter than I was expecting. My, my fingers are slightly moist now. Yeah, well, 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 thank you. Thank you very much. So, it's been a pleasure. Remember, it's Fanny, fan off if you're blowing out a candle. Everybody loves Fanny. Well, that was a that was an experience. It are was. You, are you were in general a fan of Fanny. I quite like a Fanny. Do you? Yeah, I think there's something really special about you know a, a nice Fanny that's well looked after, well presented. Well, life begins. Yeah, life begins at Fanny. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on the YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I quite like a fanny. I don't want to. <laughs>